Hey everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of planaria in your planted aquariums. So I've actually used a product called Fish Bendazole from Thomas Labs. Um, this stuff really works good. And I can tell you that because I have a jar of dead worms here. And uh, that's all because I was using this product right here. So I had documented over three days um, my whole progress on how I was going to get rid of the planaria worms in my tank. So we're going to jump to that now. So this here is more to treat your fish against worms. So you're going to deworm your fish. So we are going to use this as a planaria treatment. Now it does work and it does say you can do it on the bottle, but there is no directions. So we've uh, done some extensive research in the forums and we found out a solution of how we're going to do this. But before we get into dosing, we need to do a couple things first. Now, some people say that this is shrimp safe. Some people say that this is not. So we have shrimps, we have plecos. We've got to get these fish out of the tank. So the first thing I have to do is get them out. So I put a pellet in here, and as you can see, I've been scooping out fish already all morning, or scooping out uh, shrimp all morning out of this tank. And we're going to put these over into our 30 gallon, um, and they're just going to sit there for now until we're done treating this tank. And uh, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a planaria trap. We are going to catch some planaria, we're going to put them in a glass, and uh, once we dose our tank, we're going to fill up that glass full of tank water. And what I want to do is actually watch and check out the time scale of the planaria dying in the glass. That'll give me a better example of what's going on in my tank. So this is something that we're going to do. So I'm going to start this process right now, and uh, you guys can check it out. Okay, so here I have an API test vial. Um, I put a small hole in the top and a small piece of air hose. Now basically the air hose is only about this long and it goes in the cap. So this is going to allow the planaria to come in um, and this is how we're going to catch them. Now I've done this trap before. It doesn't really work the best but it will capture a couple for our little experiment here to find out if they're going to die and when exactly they're going to die so I can know when my tank should be clean of all the planaria in there. What we do need for this here, as you can tell from the inside, there is little packages. So this doesn't mix very well within the water, so what you're going to have to do is either get a bowl and a spoon, which is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to mix it up with some tank water, then I'm going to pour it in. Now, they do really suggest to have lots of flow in your tank, so I have a canister on here, so I normally have it turned down. I'm going to crank it up for the process of this, and uh, once we get this done, we're going to fill up the other jar that we have with the planaria worms in it and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to pull out two packages. Now each one of these packages is good for 25 gallons. This is what we've come up with here from everything we've seen and we've also confirmed this with the people over at Thomas Labs. So it looks like there's about a teaspoon in here in a package. So that kind of gives you an idea. Um, I haven't measured that or anything, but just looking, it looks like there's about a teaspoon in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna get some water from the tank. I thought this was going to fit, but maybe it's not going to fit that well. Ah. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna give this a really good mix. So I'm going to give this a couple of minutes here. I think what I'm also going to do as well is turn on my skimmer that I made, a DOI skimmer, and that's going to get some extra flow going around as well. And if you haven't seen this video for the DIY skimmer, check it out because this is a really cool build. Um, I use this every single day and uh, I'm definitely really impressed with this as well. So another important thing that you would want to do with this, um, if you are using carbon like you would any other medication, you would want to take that out first. So I just want to point that out that that would be something that you'd want to do before doing this as well. All right, so it has been 24 hours now since we first had dosed the tank. Um, we do still see some, some worms moving around. There are a couple that have died, uh, but not all of them. So we want to make sure 
that this jar is completely dead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a 50% water change out of the tank and we're going to redose. So I'm going to start that process now. So will I have this draining? Um, I have put a couple of traps in here trying to catch some planaria and it seems that they are nowhere to be found in the tank. But I do know that since they are still alive in my jar, they're just not moving. This gives me a really good understanding of what they're probably doing in the tank. They're just hiding out somewhere, curled up in a ball. Um, but if I do move my container or shake it, they come around and they start walking around the tank again. So um, I, I think after another 24 hours, I think we'll be able to completely knock these out. So we're just going to drain a little bit more water here, bring it down to 50% and we'll uh, redose. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this to the tank. Um, then I'm going to clean out the jar, well not clean out the jar, but just dump out the jar and then wait a couple minutes like we did last time and get another sample of tank water. Um, so we're getting the same results in the jar as we are in a tank. Alright, so we are now at day three and I have a jar of dead worms. So now at this point I know that there is nothing left possible in my tank um, that's still alive. So I think that I'm safe and good to go. Now I would really honestly make a suggestion um, if you're going to do a treatment like this for a planaria to have a jar of worms. This thing has sat in front of me for three days now and um, really watching the worms I actually got a really good understanding of how they're how they died in the tank. Um, so immediately after you dose the worms uh, kind of went into a ball mode. Now they sat there for probably about six seven hours and then they started moving around again. Then they started taking over the whole jar and then they kind of moved to the top, to the bottom, just were constantly moving around. I noticed that every time I would dose, they would do the exact same thing. They would go down to the bottom and uh, they would just sit there. And then all of a sudden they would start moving around again after about the six hours. Well, after the third dosing, um, they started dropping. So there was a couple moving around and then they just couldn't even keep onto the glass anymore and they were dying. Now what I did was I waited a good six hours, seven hours after all of these worms were dead to do a water change on my tank and clean everything out. And I had pulled out quite a few worms actually out of the substrate, especially in the higher part where I actually moved this mountain back. Um, there was tons back there. Now I tried to remove all of the shrimp out of this tank and I had a really hard time. Um, I, it was got to the point, I probably removed a good 200 shrimp at least and there's probably about another 30, 40 shrimp still in there that I just couldn't get out. Um, whether that was being, they were just too small for the net, they would actually go through the holes of the net because they were small. Um, but in this process, I've kind of found that I didn't see any dead shrimp in my tank. Um, I did see one dead shrimp in the corner when I was doing my clean out um, and that could have been from the meds. That could have been from a, a planaria actually getting onto the shrimp and killing it. I'm not exactly sure what happened. So I had one dead shrimp out of, you know, 30, 40 that were still in there. So um, I don't think it's that hard on the, uh, on the shrimp because I would definitely see more. And uh, I don't see anything. So I think we're okay to say that this is fairly shrimp safe. Now I wouldn't suggest putting in like rare shrimps or anything like that. Um, I had a couple cherry shrimp in here, but uh, it, it did work successfully. And now that I know, this tank here is completely planaria free. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing here in our other tank in the next few days, and I will be capturing some um, and putting them in the jar to do the same thing because you really don't know when they're actually dead. Because like I said, um, on the second day, um, I was trying to catch some with my trap and I couldn't catch anything. These worms were not coming out. Um, they weren't coming out they, they, even for eating or nothing. So uh, I think that this is probably the best way to do it. So get a jar, capture some worms beforehand, uh, so then you know that you're actually killing them. Because if I would have stayed on the second day, when if I wouldn't have had that jar, the second day is probably the day that I personally would have stopped and said, oh, they're probably dead. I've sat in here for hours looking for worms. I couldn't see any, so I would have figured they were dead at that point. Um, and really it took a whole other dosing with another day. So, some food for thought. Um, another thing that I noticed was the large worms died first. It was the small little tiny worms that actually took the longest to kill. 
So if you have little tiny small worms, it might take a little bit longer. So really, um, the greatest tip I can give you um, when treating is to treat with a jar. So all in all, it, it worked out fairly well for us. Um, it didn't damage our plants. It didn't kill the remaining shrimp that we had in the tank. Um, and we got no more worms. So that's definitely a bonus. All right, so I would like to thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you guys have yourself a great day.